if you see people rocking those glasses, it's for a reason. It's really good, too. What does what blue light do to you? It lessens your eyesight, and it causes eye strain. Uh, yeah. A lot of people who will look at monitors all day, like, like ourselves, right? right? Yeah. We, we might be losing our sight a little bit early. All right, well, it is going to be Richter. T3 Dome, uh, quite the killers as of late. You think killing off people like S2H Arrow, players from my region, and of course, coming out here is Etho. Richter, one of those characters, severely unrepresented. Uh, underrepresented. The problem I feel like he has is just the recovery and slow. Yeah. Yeah, very slow character. Um, definitely does have his strengths, though. Le one of the best ledge trapping in the game. Or mm -hmm. He has a lot of, like, setup tools to make the ledge trapping very... Uh, very hard to deal with. Yeah. Definitely uh, see like the axe if you still chill too long, the axe will go right to the stage, hit you while you're hanging on that ledge. Of course the angled aerials can also be a problem to deal with. The, the this character's mid range is just so so hard to deal with. Exactly. I feel honestly that Richter and the Belmonts, which the Belmonts in general, have become the new Robin of the game. Yeah. Uh, gets a dash tag, able to come back in here, and really looking for T3 to find himself in space. Or it's got superior frame data and speed to actually comment. I actually respect by the T3 to retreated to the ledge where he felt a little bit more safe. Yeah, and looking for this stock, finally getting Ethos at over 200%. You will finally seal it out, though. Mm -hmm. Nice, using up air to go for a tether. And it's good for him to even you toss up. up air to tether? Yeah, up air to tether. Actually, if you go for your angle, your 45 degree angled aerials, right, when you when you angle them, the range from when you're coming for your recovery is longer than your forward air tether. Wow. Yeah, it's a lot longer. So angled up forward air is better. Yeah, it's much better because it's, a, it's actually longer than your forward air tether. Wow. I, okay. I, I tried to main this character. It did and didn't work. But I did, it did my research. Holy water, really good. I mean, it still confirms, right? That's how you get your bread and butter here. Bread and butter combo, able to kill. It feels like limit cross slash, especially at the ledge in a high percent, so Etho finally gets to stock himself. Yeah, that's definitely the uh, one of the bigger pros of playing Roy over Krom is that that side B is so strong. Oh, caught him on the, on the run up on the, oh no. The, so the thing about Tether for Richter and the Belmonts is sometimes it does prioritize or if you're hitting a pole, an opponent hitting, rather than grabbing the actual ledge. So you have to be careful. Sometimes so some better. people can just throw their body out there. Exactly. By, right by the ledge and just get hit. There are some scenarios where I have seen it, like in Bowser Jr.'s case, where it'll just grab the ledge. Just Bowser Jr.? Uh, in, the, in some cases, especially when Bowser Jr. likes to go for upbeat. So it'll oh. grab the ledge, it won't hit the actual card. Huh. Very, very interesting. Yeah, and I mean, that is a really big deal in terms of counterplay, too. Yeah. Just, I mean, if you know that, like, you can just position yourself. Of course, they can start going for upbees and all that jazz, but if you know that they're going to go for a tether, you can just put your body out there and just mm -hmm. get the get the gimp that's so strong. So, so uh, in some cases, up B is better than up air, but in other words, if you're trying to mix it up slowly, up air is much better. Here's the opportunity to get the confirm off the cross. Not going to kill just yet. And this one ledge trap sequence just doing so much work here for T3, T3 Dome. And Ethos finally getting back on stage and just getting swatted right oh, back out. So close, but I respect it. <gasps> Didn't get the... Oh, man, he's not getting the sweet spots. The forward air and just saw like that. that. Yep. You saw that. It's so much range and able to recover it. And it's good that he uses Holy Water because if it didn't, didn't hit Roy, in this case it did, it would have bought him time on the stage to make sure that Etho is holding the shield. That's what you want. You want exactly. your opponent to give you that second yeah. time of the day to hold shield and let you come back on the stage. Yeah, E3 Dome, or T3 Dome doing a really good job there, taking game number one over Ethos, and very, very close. Yeah. And we, we just saw the Richter just tacking on so much damage, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat on that ledge trap, it was so deadly. And he's really good at, if you're really aware of how to use her projectiles properly, you can set up a really great shield pressure, especially at the corner, or even when your opponent's on the stage or at center stage. It all depends on you throwing your cross away, so that when your opponent thinks it's not gonna come back, it has a good uh, comeback, like range. It's more of the boomerang. Right. So there's some really good setups in the cross when you do two third away, like that. Yeah, and it doesn't really, uh it stays on the same horizontal level. It, mm -hmm. it does not, like, it's not like Link's Boomerang where it will come back up to him if he jumps. It'll stay on that same horizontal level. Yeah. And if you're able to, oh, so close, but he didn't come in. Before that would have been the much better call. Yeah, yeah. The second hit of the Nutra 
either needed to come through or it needed to be a forward air right there exactly. for Ethos to get that game. But T3 Dome will go ahead and lift another tail with this stock. Grab, here's the back throw here. Okay, really good roll. And that's one thing, like, the holy water setup is really good by the ledge, but if you know that or you can just simply react to them throwing it, you can get a ledge roll and you'll be stop-free. Stop yeah. Oh, oh. good angle there. Yep, really good angle. Knew that he wanted to get back down to the ledge or back down to the ground there, cover that area, got that tipper. Ooh, Up scary. there at that point, much more viable than that Yeah. You don't want to challenge yourself when you're getting hit by Royce RP. Angled opportunity here against the recovery. Takes a little too much time to go for the Holy Water. At that point, if you already got up from the stage, from the ledge, just be more content with the fact that you have a chance to come on stage rather than stall yourself for time. You have right. platforms. Okay, there's a ledge trap here, and Ethos not going to nail it. But, yeah, and that, that down tilt, I think, is such a key part of the kit for Richter and Simon. Mm -hmm. Because if they didn't have that down tilt, Man, you would corner these characters and get next to them, it's just like they don't have an out. And even in their own game lore, the Belmonts really suffer, suffer from close combat. Oh, so yeah. that down tilt's are really good, like, let me get out of the corner option. Yes, yes. The fact that, is, that, that it does go through shield as well, very, very important. Right now, Ethos trying to get the chase down. Up air? Oh, I like it. Be reverse, axe. We're looking for the up air. Up tilt's got solid range. Can't confirm to another up to that early percent or a possible up air. You can also go for a back angle, back air, and that can also confirm from up to as well. Man, those axes are just, the way they arc, they are perfect for catching these jumps from mm -hmm. the ledge. And, and it's all how you pressure your opponent to fear being for a roll get up or a neutral get up. Because if they roll get up, they can be punished. If they neutral get up, they got the holy hole fire. So they only force the jump get up, and that axe covers that plane. Back Here's a grab, yep. Once again, setting up shop, T3 Dome, getting the axes going, and look at that shield pressure. Oh, excuse yourself, sir. Here is Dancing with the Stars, and here is your exit. Oh. Simon Cowell said, zero out of 10, do not pass. I'll see you next time. What a setup, and Richter throwing out the deuces right there. And yeah, man, the, the, the cross into the up smash, especially with a charge like that, you are going to get destroyed. Void, T3 yeah. Dome, making it look like it was uh, very tough to get in on the Richter and to get off of the ledge especially. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, pressure. You, you, you talked about it earlier, right? Like the fact that Richter and the Belmonts all just together have really good